Hi, I'm Harry, down here at Bisham Abbey training with uh, the England men's squad leading up to the World Cup in December. I've got with me here Russell Garcia, uh, assistant coach. So Russell, how is the staff team? Are you guys gearing up towards the World Cup? Well, we've got a new staff team, obviously. We've got a new head coach, Danny, and I have to say, Danny is doing an amazing job. He's galvanising the guys. There's real clarity around what we're doing. So from the staff perspective, I think we're all really excited. So before you were coaching, I think, or maybe it was during your early days of coaching or playing, you were a hairdresser, yep. I believe. Yep. Um, any thoughts on the, the current haircuts in the program and the guys, any ones that stand out as particularly bad or <laughs> ones you'd like to get your hands on? Well, there's none that I'd like to get my hands on. <laughs> uh, you know, I prefer to keep it to, uh, to hockey. But, you know, there are some guys that put quite a lot of effort into their hair. The trigger seems to change <laughs> colour quite regularly. I'm not sure if that's to do with the emotions of the game and or its uh, hair dye. Can I just say, what you need is that you need a new haircut, that would be yeah. <laughs> This is a new haircut. <laughs> I was told by the guys my hair was too too much the same, so I was told okay. to get a, a fade. And what do you think? Uh, is it you? Disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend's very disappointed. Is she? Yeah. Do you know what my message is to you? For you myself. Yeah. So obviously the hairdressing, and what else do you think prepared you for well, what you're doing at the moment in terms of your playing career and anything else you did that makes you the coach you are? today <laughs> well a big believer you know all the experiences you live kind of make up who you are in the in the present so you know all the things you know whether it be school the opportunity to play lots of sport having the opportunity to go abroad and play abroad for so long you know that impacts on the, your understanding of the game and you know the professionality of it over there yeah, all adds to kind of the mixing pot and you know what boils out is who you are in the, in the present day. I've got a question for you, Harry. Yeah. Um, who has the best scoring celebration in the team? What was the one that Jammer, you know, Jammer? Jammer, yeah. That? He doesn't normally score that many. What was the celebration he did? I think it was the... Uh the Fortnite celebration. The you, Fortnite. You, would you know Fortnite? No. It's the game most of the guys play. Okay. I'll, I'll yeah, hold, hold that. that. You show us the Fortnite. <laughs> it's the Anton Griezmann as well. I think it's like this one. It's <laughs> 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 made me look like an idiot for no reason. Yeah, there's obviously some new guys coming into the team. You've got Zach, Reese, Jack, Will Cowlan. What would you like them to see from you and you know them look up and move forward and take on? Yeah, well, I think they're in a pretty good position at the moment having a lot of them coming in at the same time yeah. Um, and yeah I'd encourage them every game see yeah. that as an opportunity to go and express yourself and that you're there for a reason yeah. and I think we've seen that from the new guys who've come in as well they've come in and played with zero fear I think yeah. I say this it's going to be on social media or whatever you know you should back yourself you're such a really cool guy and cool in the sense that you're you and you know you don't pretend to be anything else you're you and that's what i love about you right? and i'm sure that's what those young guys will get out of being around you is knowing that they can be themselves and that's all right i oh, appreciate that russ I haven't paid him to say that but yes. <laughs> <laughs> follow at toshiba tv europe and hashtag behind every great team <laughs>